demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion should not be tolerated, should be subject to, to violators. To, the violators will be subject to ejection and may result in penalties against your team. And now for standing, for starting lineup, starting with Hampshire Regional. Goalkeeper, Colin Holt. Number 23, Owen Malay. Number 19, Brendan Stevenson. Number 13, Jack Rezin. Number 9, Aiden Miklasowicz. Number 7, Dan Martin. Number five, Jason Zanoni. Number four, Aiden St. Martin. Number three, Colin Cahill. Number three, Aiden Moynihan. And number two, Jesse Connors. And starting for Frontier, number one, goalkeeper, Owen Bell. Number three, Diago Frazier. Number four, Ben Chakawongo. Number five, Andrew Garoppolo. Number seven, Aiden Valderrama. Number eight, Chan Men Sun. Number nine, Nico Fasulo. Number ten, Chan Hee Sung. Number eleven, Jack Storm. Number seventeen, Roscoe Palmer. And number twenty-two, Eric Larson. Frontier is coached by Evan Horton, and Hampshire Regional is coached by Dan Moynihan. Our great nation has preserved, persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served and are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and currently military personnel to stand. We thank you for your service. Now will everyone please rise, remove your hats as we honor our flag in playing our national anthem.
Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Mason Smith here tonight at the uh, Westfield High School uh, or West Springfield uh, Terriers um, place of residence. You know, <laughs> I don't really know what it's called <laughs> yet. <laughs> the, the the yeah the Terriers. You know, is so. it the is it? I don't know if it's Clark Field or Veterans Field because I don't know. We were trying to figure out the name of it before, but didn't really. Yeah. Yeah. So me and Mason, we both predicted the uh, the I mean the outcome of this game. Um, I said that it was going to be a one to one tie going into overtime, and then yep. it could go either way. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel too. I mean, it's definitely going to be a really exciting game. Uh, these teams have played once before uh, this season. Uh, Hampshire came out on top three to one, and it's the only game that the Red Hawks have lost this season. So. Um, this is a uh, attempt at redemption for the Red Hawks and their attempt at trying to secure the Western Mass Class B champions championship title. But yeah, and yeah. it's it, it's definitely um, it's going to be a good game today. I mean, uh, Hampshire they're the one seed and Frontier's the six seed, which is interesting because Frontier's only loss on the season is. To yeah, Hampshire. So you know. Yeah, I I don't really understand the seating that much, but you know. Regardless, um, Frontier coming into this, they're the underdogs, but they're on offense right now. They're, that's uh, Nico Fasulo on the far side who's pushing it forward. And it's going to be a little bit difficult, especially on the far side, to call out of bounds, just because there's so many lines over there, and that will be out of bounds. I think it's the yellow. Is that what we're going with? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yellow lines. It's still hard to tell. There's so many over there. Also, uh, just fair warning, the camera. Oh right, yeah. The camera <laughs> tripod is not in the best of states right now. So. <laughs> yeah, we're trying our best, but yeah, we we apologize in advance. Raiders are gonna have the ball on the near side for a throw-in. It'll be taken by number seven, Dan Martin. Oh, he's going way out of bounds yeah. to take this one. <laughs> Big windup. It's way into the goalie box, and Bab's going to grab it, kill the opportunity for the Raiders. And it's another cold night for us, Tom, although I think a little bit better right now at least than uh, the field hockey game last night. Yeah, field hockey, was it was like 45 degrees. so And it was windy too, yeah. pretty windy. And we weren't inside or anything. We were all outside bearing the cold. <laughs> yeah. Mason, I think this is the first game we've done together this season. Yeah, so. I think so. I was just thinking about that. Here's Sean He moving to the top of the goal box. Nice footwork, oh. and the shot's deflected. Whew. I thought that was gonna he was going to have a shot on goal there. but Yeah. He's a, he always impresses me. That's one of the reasons why I love doing uh, the boys' soccer games, just because I get to watch Chan He play and move the ball around the field. And he's just so skilled. And here he is again. He'll do a short pass up to Nico Fasulo, centering. He was looking for Palmer, but it was deflected out and cleared. Yeah, that'll be out of bounds. And I can't tell. Yeah, they are stands over there. Some, like, stone stands on the far side of the field. Yeah, I mean, definitely interesting to have stands just to be stone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think the front of them is stone, and then there's, like, grass behind them, but still, it's definitely yeah. a first for me. <laughs> I, yeah, I also think in this game, whoever scores the first goal is most likely going to win the game, in, yeah. my, in my opinion. And it'll all just come down to really holding that defense and who, no, wants, definitely. who wants this game more, you know? Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, that's kind of what it came down to in the field hockey game last night. And, you know. Yeah, although that, like, Frontier, they had a – I think it was in the first quarter that they, they scored a goal or second quarter. Yeah, I think it, it was a Kirkendall. Yeah, and it didn't, didn't count because it was outside the semicircle, but. Yeah. Owen Bab going to – Take the goal kick for the Red Hawks. Sends it out to midfield towards Fasulo. He's up against Zanoni. And he breaks away. 
He's got Palmer next to him. Let's see what he can do in the goal box now. Back and forth, moves to the baseline, and he can't keep uh, it in bounds. I think if he was able to keep it in bounds there and then cross it into one of his teammates, it would have been would have worked for him there. Yeah, that would have been a fantastic opportunity. I mean, of course, you see plenty of goals set up like that. Just a well-placed ball and a beautiful header. That's all you really need. It's crazy to think we've only played four minutes here, so. Yeah. Palmer putting some pressure on the Raiders' defense. Going back and forth, and it's finally sent down the field by Owen Milley. Cachuango sends it forward. Header by Valderrama. It's out of bounds. Throw in going to be taken by Valderrama for the Red Hawks. Looking for Palmer down the field. Well set up, but the pass is intercepted. Larson's there for the Red Hawks, though. He'll pass it over to Chan Min. Nice pass forward. Palmer works around the defense. Shot goes wide oh. left. Definitely a nice opportunity there, though. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and look at that. We got a plane heading right towards us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a military plane. I, I don't know the first thing about that, so I'll take your word for it. Oh, never mind. It looked like it, but I don't think it is. Yeah. But usually with military planes, they fly low. Yeah. Storm clears it out for the Red Hawks. Yeah, no, that's just a normal plane, but yeah, must be coming from uh, uh, Bradley. Yeah. wonder if someone's going to try and get a shot of that with the soccer game. That might be cool. Throwing going to be taken by Valderrama. Yeah, he seems to be faking some people out. So Yeah. <laughs> Tries to send it up to Palmer, but Resson is there. Sean Min intercepts the clearing pass. Keeps it in bounds. Look at this. Yeah, Works not. back inside. Pass back to Larson. In front of the goal box. Shots deflected up and can't quite clear it out. Fasulo's there. Trying to center it. Gets a little bit of distance. He's on the far side in the corner now. And it's deflected again. I think that's going to be a corner. Yeah. And this this will be a big opportunity for Frontier to see what they can do with the ball here. Yeah, especially this early in the game. Yeah, we're not even 10 minutes in. And yeah. Frontier could have a great opportunity to score. Or even have a chance to get a shot on goal here. Yeah. I will say, though, that uh, the, the defense from Hampshire has been pretty good so far. Yeah, it has. I like, knew you see it again. They're clearing the ball out. Looks like Chan Min's going to get to it, though. Pass to Larson. Nice pass back. Valderrama, look at that touch. Chan Min finds Larson again. He's looking to pass it forward to Chan He. And Colin Holt is going to scoop it up. Yeah, he, he scooped that up just barely before it went out of the, the goalie box. Yeah. Sends it downfield and headed back in the other direction by Valderrama. Chan He with it now. Working towards the sideline, sent out of bounds, thrown for the Red Hawks. Chan He, pass back, Valderrama. Valderrama back to Frazier, almost intercepted, ball's loose. No whistle on the field as Dan Martin goes down. Yeah, I mean, that we kind of captured that right there. I, yeah. It, it almost kind of looked like he tripped up on himself, but. No, yeah. Maybe a little shove there from one of Frontier's players. But I mean, I wouldn't know. be surprised, but even then, he didn't really have anyone to pass to. I don't think that there was going to be much happening from that opportunity. But here on the far side, I can't see his number, but it's Hampshire number nine. McClasowitz tries the centering pass right on the baseline, and it will be cleared up by the Red Hawks. Look at that touch by Fasulo. He'll keep it in bounds on the far side. Fasulo, stop and go. He's got Palmer in the center of the field, and the pass is too far behind him. Yeah, that's just unlucky. Yeah. He, he made a good run uh, down the sideline with the ball there. Yeah. And we've seen that throughout the season from Nico Fasulo. So. Yeah. He's just, I mean, he's just so fast. And he can handle the ball very well. 
makes a lot of opportunities for himself and for his team. Yeah, and I think this will be the first free kick of the game, so. Yeah, going to be taken by Aiden St. Martin for the Raiders. Sends it in to the box. And oh. bam, what a save. Thank goodness for Owen Babb. He just, whew, that was amazing. If he didn't get his hand on the ball there, it would have been a hand that, goal yeah. 100%. My heart skipped a beat there. Martin's going to take the corner kick now for the Raiders. Sends it into the box. Headed out by Frazier, I'm pretty sure. And Palmer sends it way up. A yeah. couple of people oh, colliding. I, yeah. I think it was a little bit of a miss kick there from Palmer. And it just went, it pretty much went straight up. And this this is going to be an opportunity for, yeah. one for Hampshire. So Frontier, they gotta they gotta have good defense, good solid defense here. Yeah. So it looks like McClasowitz is going to take it, either him or Brendan Stevenson. Right Ox setting up a wall at the top of the box. A little bit inside now, I guess. They're pretty much like a, a, a f maybe a foot away from where they were supposed to be. So yeah. Stevenson oh, fakes it, McClasowitz, too high. That's definitely an interesting move. I didn't know you could even do that in soccer. So Yeah, the little fake out. I mean, I've seen it a couple of times, more on the professional level, but I don't watch a lot of professional soccer either. I just tuned in for the World Cup last year. Or was it, was it last year, I two years ago? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was last year. Everyone was watching it on their school Chromebooks. Instead of paying attention in class, what the heck, Mason? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I did, I did all right in my classes last year. All right, Mason. And it was it was only for a couple weeks. Come on. I expect A's and B's over here. <laughs> all right, man, all right. <laughs> Sean, he passed forward looking for Palmer. Palmer, is he going to keep it? He will. He's going to pass it back to Valderrama. He's got a little bit of room. And that's too far behind Sean, he turnover. And there it is again, just a, a misjudged pass. And there's an opportunity lost for the Red Hawks. Now it goes the other way. Dan Martin, far side. Ball is shot up and out of bounds. Yeah, I mean, it's almost funny how one turnover, and it's pretty much already in the other end of the uh, field. So Yeah. both Everyone on these teams, is just, it, they're so fast, and they can move the ball so well. I mean, that's why I'm so glad we came out to do this game because it's just every second of it that isn't waiting for them to set up for a throw-in or something is going to be really exciting. Here's yeah, the throw-in into the box. And Bab will take it. There's also a pretty nice turnout. Yeah, Frontier seems to have a lot more fans than uh, Hampshire that does, but mm -hmm. depends on how this game goes, and we'll definitely uh, be covering some of the state tournament games that Frontier has. Yeah, as long as they're not too far out east, you know. Yeah, well, I know for a fact volleyball, they, they're the number three seed in the state tournament, so they're going to have at least three home games if they're able to win those games, you know, Yeah. in advance. Valderrama with a throw and sends it down to Palmer. He gets the ball, and it's cleared out of bounds. That was... Owen Millie. Oh, and it'll be a throw in for the Raiders. Yeah. We've played about 13 minutes, you could say, in this game. Yeah, I mean, I always feel hesitant saying like the timestamps for soccer because they always add the extra time, too. Yeah. So especially as you're winding down, you never really know. Valderrama goes down after he almost steals the ball, but it'll be a throw-in taken by Sean Min for the Red Hawks. He looks fine. I think he just. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna take the throw-in. I think he was trying to sell it there a little bit, but yeah, just I <laughs> I agree. <laughs> throw-in going up for Sean He, and he'll get it in the corner. Keeping in bounds, and now it goes out. Thrown for the Red Hawks. Yeah, the Hampshire's lucky that wasn't a corner. I mean, it's very close. Yeah, to it was really close. It was like literally right in the corner. Valderrama centers it. 
Uh, and grabbed by Holt. Nice play there by him, although I will say I didn't see a lot of other movement from pretty much anyone else in the box. Yeah, like I, I, was, I said with the, the field hockey game yesterday, is, oh, well, that's going to be something. Yeah. Um, but you could say, like, right now, Hampshire, they were winning that first, you know, 10 or so minutes. But now Frontier, in these last couple of minutes, have really kind of taken over and used their opportunities to make something out of it, you know. Yeah, I agree. I mean, so much of these games has to do with momentum. And now here's Frazier taking the free kick, and he'll send it right into the hands of Holt. Line drive goes straight to Fasulo. Trying to work between two defenders, and it'll get taken away. Moynihan passes it back. Palmer, pff, that was a nice slide tackle, but he missed it. Nice pass downfield, but Bab is going to be there to scoop it up. Roll it over to Catchawango on the near side. Pass up Chan Min. He finds his brother downfield. Nice move there, Chan He. Sends it towards the goal and oh! scores! John Hee's son! What a goal from John Hee there. He just let it rip and scored that one. Of all the ways I thought they were going to do it, that is not what I thought was going to happen. And the Red Hawks are up one to nothing really early. Yeah, that that was exciting. I Honestly, I... Had, I think I caught it on the camera. Hopefully I did. But. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. And with his, an assist from his brother, too. Yeah, what a what a way to go ahead in this Western Mass final, you know. It's fantastic. In Frontier, I mean, they're already two for two on Western Mass finals this year for fall sports. So. Yeah. And, well, that that's a huge lead. Now they really need to tr try to capitalize on offense and then. Yeah, worked their way to hold Hampshire from scoring a goal, and I'm sure um, Hampshire will. Now that the, when you're down one, you're gonna try your hardest to get that goal back. You know? Yeah, especially. I mean, we're not even 20 minutes into the first half of this game yet, and the Red Hawks already have a lead. That is a game changer right there in terms of like what your strategy is. Tron he brings the ball down off of the punt, and it's cleared out of bounds. Throwing for the Red Hawks. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much need Frontier to just just play all around Frontiers more of a defensive. Goal, uh, by number 10, Chan Yi Sun, assisted by number 8, Chan Mun Sun. There you go, you know. Yep. <laughs> Still says 0-0 zero to zero on the scoreboard, and I hope they change that soon. But anyway... Ooh. Storm there. Can't quite get the header off to clear it out, but Valderrama will come up with it. Nice footwork. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was that was pretty spectacular right there. Larson sends it forward looking for Palmer. A oh. little bit of a push. No call. I'm sure they'll they'll make a makeup call from that. There's, yeah. <laughs> there it is right there. But uh, all around, you know, the, the Valderrama and the Number 13 for Hampshire had good sportsmanship right there. So. Yeah, that was Resson, Jack Resson. And now we see uh, Ian Petrick on the near side getting ready to sub in for the Red Hawks, probably coming in for Palmer. That's what it usually happens. Resson on the near side. Pass into Connors. Ball's taken away. Valderrama. Now Palmer has it. Oh. Can't quite keep it, though. And a nice couple passes there. And you got to be careful was, with yeah. what uh, what happens with like the refs and whatnot, you know. Yeah, I'm just I was just trying to figure out a little bit of like what happened exactly. I guess it'll be a free kick for the Red Hawks, taken by Andrew Garoppolo. We'll send it downfield, looking at Palmer and Trani. Look at that move. He's got it on the near side, works it back a little bit, looking for someone to pass to, but he'll move forward. Chani oh look at this, goodness. and it's cleared out on the last line of defense for the Raiders. 
Red Hawks doing a great job of keeping the pressure on Holt. Yeah, I mean, Chani right there, he almost maneuvered through Hampshire's whole defense. Yeah. I mean, when one guy can do that, that's, like, I mean, more than just, like, impressive, that's scary. That ball sent down the field. Header was kind of missed, it looked like. I'm not sure if it went over everyone or not, but that was uh, McClasowitz. Him and Martin are their uh, main forwards, the ones that are kind of hanging back. And that ball is going to be out of bounds. Red Hawks throwing on the near side. So, yeah, here you go. Pachura coming in for Palmer, and that is Elijah Pickard coming in for Colin Cahill. And for Hampshire Regional, number 14, Eli I couldn't even tell who had the ball, but... Yeah. It was Aiden Valderrama that threw it in there for the Hawks. Oh, and the pass a little too far ahead of him from Chan He. Oh, and here we go. This is going to be a timeout taken, it looks like, by Dan Moynihan of the Raiders try and find a way that they can break through the Red Hawks defense, I guess. So they're going to take a quick break on the field and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Mason Smith here at the West Springfield Terriers home. And uh, it's just a neutral site, a neutral site for uh, the Western Mass uh, final. And again, it's the Frontier Red Hawks versus uh, the uh, Hampshire, Hampshire Raiders. Hampshire Raiders. I think it's Raiders anyway. Yeah, the the Red Raiders. Yeah, that's what they said over the PA. But we can we can call them the Raiders. Yeah, it's easier. I mean, I call the Red Hawks the Hawks sometimes. Yeah, so, sometimes. yeah, so do yeah. I. I mean, it's just easier, you know, one syllable, whatever, said and done. Pacheric racing back and forth. And that's Moynihan on the far side, I'm pretty sure. A lot of short passes. Raiders seem to be struggling to get it out of their own territory. Yeah, and I, I think what teams like mostly for do for soccer is the best way to like get back into a game is short, quick passes. Open, it opens everyone up. You know? Yeah, no, if, totally. It's like the same thing for like basketball is you want to just pass the ball around a lot until you get an opportunity to score, you know. Look at this. Far side. That's Stevenson with it now. Pass back to St. Martin. And Fasulo can't quite keep it in. Yeah, and Hampshire's doing exactly <laughs> what I said. I mean, they're just doing short passes, looking for the open person. Yeah. That's what they're going to have to do to try to get this goal back. No, yeah, definitely. And, I mean, it's going to be no easy feat. Owen Babb has had an incredible season and incredible seasons in the past as well, and we've seen him make a, uh, at, we've seen him make a couple saves uh, from shots on goal, one in particular where it was just uh, shot straight towards him and he kind of had to punch it out of the box. A couple of players went down on the far side. Yeah. That's what it looked like. I, I don't really know exactly what happened there, but it just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the the, the Hampshire player just kind of kicked the, the ball away, but. Yeah, I don't know. It's In a way, I kind of guess it's, it's kind of smart because you. Uh, you give your team time to set up or something? Uh, I don't know. It's. Yeah, they, they it's call it. Free kick. I thought the, the kid on the sideline was going to throw it in. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. there's There's got to be some sort of strategy to everything they do. I, I believe that there is. I don't understand it, but, you know, I'll just have faith in the players. Martin trying to push it forward, and now a pass back to Connors. Cross field. Pickard. Oh. And a slide tackle by Valderrama. No call. I'm actually kind of surprised. Yeah, I am too. And I'm sure now if there's anything like close in the box. Yeah. Header towards the goal. Bab. Nice job being aggressive there. And that's something we've seen from him a lot this year. Just 
you know, not really scared of getting into messy situations like that. Yeah, Owen Babb, I mean, he pretty much stopped the goal there. Yeah. But now Malay will send it forward, intercepted by Larson. Hampshire definitely being really aggressive. Moynihan up against Chon He. Chon He takes the ball. Backtracks oh. a little bit, and he goes down. Free kick. I'm just going to pan it away from Chani there. I'm not sure. I think he might be fixing his shin guard. Hopefully. hopefully. I think, yeah. I mean, he has the one the one goal on the night, so. <laughs> yeah, you have to hope. If you're a Red Hawks fan, you got to hope that he stays in. Yeah, and he seems and look fine. At, so. Look at this. we got a blow up T-Rex in the stands. Yeah, that's what I was saying when we were off air is that there's someone dressed up in a dino suit. <laughs> yeah. And Holt grabs it out of the air. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Holt, all, all things considered, but with that one long-range goal from Chan, he, uh, yeah. he's done pretty well tonight. So. No, he is. Uh, I mean, I can't blame him that much for uh, letting the ball go by on uh, Tron Hughes' shot. Cause it, I mean, it was way downtown, and it was also, by the looks of it, he thought that it was going to be way over the net. And it was, I mean, just a simple misjudgment, and it happens to the best of us, but, you know. Yeah, it's, oh. Yep. <laughs> sure, it goes down, and there's no call on that. Cachuango can't clear it. Martin pushing down the field. Cachuango runs back. Whistle's blown. That'll be free kick for the Raiders, it looks like. Yeah, and, and one of the things, like, making a free kick happen um, is, like, it almost allows the the uh, other team to get back on defense. Yeah. I mean, it's good for you in some ways because now you got a dead ball opportunity, and that can be really good for you as the ball is sent to the box towards the goal, and Bab scoops it up. Every save he makes is crucial to the game now. Just keeping the Red Hawks ahead. Yeah, I mean, we both kind of predicted that it would be like a 1-1. One, one. Oh, boy, look at this. Fasulo off the long pass from Valderrama. Spins around, and the ball is knocked out. That'll be a throw-in, barely. I think if Hampshire, they don't score uh, in this half, it'll be a lot more difficult to score in the second half. Yeah. Entering the game for a here, Bombers coming game. back in for Paturic. And we got just under 15 minutes left in the first half now. I think that'll be another throw in for the Red Hawks. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's right in the corner, so it's I can't really tell if it's a it's, they're going to call a corner kick or what. Palmer in the box off the kick from Storm. Deflected out. Pass forward to Chan He. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Just weaving through everyone. It's remarkable. Now here's a nice opportunity. Let's see if Martin can get to it. Oh. Knocks down a defender. No whistle. He slows down a little bit and gets the. He can't pass it to anyone because there's no one else there. Diego Frazier will clear it, and now Palmer's on the other side of the field. It's just, it's like a ping pong match. It's yeah. going back and forth. That that's what I like to call it. You know. <laughs> And uh, I don't know what I was going to say, but. <laughs> <laughs> now this, oh, Tron He, he'll intercept the ball. Oh. Passed out of bounds, and it looks like that might have hit his ankle. Oh. Or no, it's, it's, he's kind of holding the end of his foot, so. Oh, he seems fine. Yeah, <laughs> he's all right, you know. <laughs> It's, no, it's because, I mean, like, you got to be a little worried because you can't really tell most of the time. That's, I mean, that's the purpose of it, but, oh. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really pan away quick enough, but. <laughs> no, uh, it's. <laughs> all of a sudden, boom, you get up and you're fine. Yeah. I mean, that's that's why people laugh at soccer a lot, you know, because it's like they, they're they really trying to sell it, and then it's just, you know, oh, we don't get the penalty. All right, and they just stand up, you know, run like nothing happened. And it can be really funny at times. Free kick for the Raiders. Giving them a chance to set something up. 
St. Martin takes the kick, sends it downfield. Looking for Connors, but Valderrama sends it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in taken by Pickard. Connors will come out, and coming in for him is Joe Morrow. Entering the game for Hampshire Regional, number 22, Joseph Morrow. Moynihan sends it into the middle. Frontier takes the ball back, pass up to Fasulo by Larson. He'll get to it in time. He's got Palmer and racing up is Sean Min. Works back a little bit, pass back to Larson. Larson will find Fasulo again. Oh, a little bit too far ahead of him, it looked like. Yeah, zooming in with on, on the far side is a little tough. Yeah. Storm clears the ball, ball out. Ugh. I'm already starting to like shiver, man. It's just, I, sh I should have worn gloves. I keep saying that, but I should have. It's my own fault. It's all right. You'll, uh, Shot deflected by Frazier. Look at this. Oh, my God. Fasulo goes down. And it'll be a free kick for the Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I, if you think this is cold, just imagine how I'll feel when I'm five days in the wilderness. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't envy you. In in, Ma That's in, for sure. in Mount Greylock, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> That's, yeah. It's all for a class. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, it's a required course, I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah. St. Martin taking the free kick for the Raiders, sends it into the box. Headed and cleared out by Chan Min. Oh. And that, wow. Yeah, we'll just, just pan on Owen yeah. Grab right now. <laughs> and that's a yellow card. Yeah, there's the ref. Brendan Stevenson gets carded and he's sent off the field. Yeah, I think that's the the rule. If you get like a yellow card or a red card, then you have to like come on out. Yeah, at least for a certain amount of time, I think, and then you can go back in. I mean, it's just un unnecessary to do that. There, no, it was completely unnecessary. I mean, I understand getting physical in the, in well, the sure. game, but you know, yeah. nice pass forward by Garoppolo Fasulo on the far side, stop and go, working his way into the corner. Centering pass deflected out. It'll be a corner kick for the Red Hawks. Yeah, now we're un under 10 minutes left to go here in this first half. However, plus, you know, a little extra time. Yeah. I mean, if the Red Hawks can put together another uh, goal or even just some more shots on goal in these last 10 minutes, I I think it's going to do a lot to uh, Hampshire's morale. Yeah, I mean, this, mindset is, going into this, this is an opportunity here. Palmer pops it up. Oh, and Holt can't bring it down. Fasulo almost had an opportunity if, there. If, I feel like if one more Frontier was, uh, player was in there, because the goalie was definitely off his mark since yeah. uh, Fasulo got it, uh, his head on the ball. Definitely, I. <laughs> it would have been more of a chance for him, you know. Absolutely. And there you go again with the nice short passes. That's exactly what we need to see from them. And Palmer just he keeps putting the pressure on the defense, not giving them a second to breathe. Pass forward. Nice move there, but Storm will clear it out of bounds. That goes into the stone stands. Yeah, it's like at a certain point, the, the camera <laughs> just goes, it has its own mind. Yeah. I know what you mean. Shot forward. I think that was Chan He. Palmer with the ball now. Gets by one defender. He has two more to beat. Tries to pass it over to Larson. It was Larson. That's Resson trying to clear it now. Short pass, and now they'll finally get it out. Cachuango sends it back in the Red Hawks' direction. And we're just going back and forth again. Larson now. Pass up to Fasulo. And the pass is too far behind Chan Min. Turnover for the Raiders. Backtrack. McClassowitz sends it forward to Martin. And slide tackle, no whistle by Larson. McClassowitz, or excuse me, Martin, kind of stunned, it seems, by yeah. that <laughs> decision. I think the what the refs are almost trying to do here, They, I mean, they want the game to be 
as fair as possible and just get, well. Oh man, uh -huh. no call there either. I mean, maybe I, they're just not calling enough. But I was gonna yeah. say like they're they're not they're not calling a lot. Yeah, I mean, the thing that you can be a little bit happy about is they're they're being uh, judicial about not calling a lot. They, at least it's not like you know they're not calling a lot for the Red Hawks, but then they're calling a lot. Uh, in favor of uh, Hampshire or something like that. They're just not calling a lot in general. Yeah, I think there was like two calls that should have been called there. Yeah, and that shot by Fasulo is going to be way over the net and out of bounds. Goal kick for the Raiders as a couple subs come in for him. And that's another thing. We haven't talked about this yet, but it's very – we've only seen – two subs come in for the Red Hawks uh, and it's only been an exchange of one player we've only seen one new player on the field for the Red Hawks besides uh, their starting players and that was Ian Paturik and that's kind of the way that they've been playing it for most of the season or at least most of the games that I've covered with yeah. them oh. big collision and Valderrama goes down I mean yeah, he'll walk it off, <laughs> and I almost just feel like some of the times y you do almost get the wind knocked out of you if you get shoved the wrong way. Oh, totally. Look at this nice pass forward. Palmer, pass from Cachuango. He doesn't get the angle on the kick. He does get a thumbs up from the coach, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't really have anyone to pass to, so. Yeah. That's all you could really do. And they're going to take a little uh, injury timeout, I guess, as Valderrama has helped off the field. Yeah. Gus Radner is going to come in for him. And that's the other. I mean, like, they, they have, like, set subs for specific players is what I've started to notice yeah. about them. And, I mean, like, it makes sense, of course. But it's rare that we'll see someone out of that group come in. Yeah, definitely after this half, I'm going to go get my other set sweatshirt and put both on. Yeah, I think I'm going to go get some hot chocolate or something from the concession stand. Yeah, that's one thing I have to bring on my trip is hot drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> St. Martin passes it over to Resson on the far side. I will tell you, though, that when you come back out of the woods, the food tastes so much better here. <laughs> Just for at least a couple of days. Yeah. Catchwango can't quite clear it out, and it'll be sent out of bounds. Oh, final five minutes Yeah, now. That, that's a little more interesting. Yeah. Instead of the final two minutes like Frontier usually does, it's the final five, so. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's just different because it's, you know, the finals and everything, but still. Hampshire trying to push it closer to the box. Larson heads it. And Radner can't quite get to it in time. If he kept that in, that would have been quite a move. Yeah. It will be a free kick for the Raiders, though. I'm not exactly sure why, but. Vincent Zanoni passes it over to St. Martin. Back to Zanoni on the near side. Pressured by Chan He. And Chan He lets it go out of bounds. Oh, no, yeah, I think he said, oh. Yeah. No, he, yeah, he let it go. I saw the flags, uh, the ref's flag go up, so. For a second, it looked like he saved it from going out of bounds and kicked it, kicked it on back, <laughs> but that was just not the case. Yeah, I mean, it was hard to tell. We don't have a great angle of that part of the field specifically. I definitely see more, like, more of the players giving each other a little bit more of a sh shove and go here, you know. Yeah, totally. I mean, overall, we have a really great angle. It's not, like, too high up or too far away from the field. That was one of the bad things about uh, Holyoke. We were pretty far away from the field. It was hard to see the numbers at times. Oh, pass goes between the legs of Martin. Storm racing against him. Oh. They both go down. Uh-oh. And here's, here's an opportunity. Oh, boy. Well, this call, if... If the game is tied up with this, that call is <laughs> going to be talked about for the rest of the night. 
And wow. Yeah, and and it all it takes is one opportunity for boom, it's a tie game. Yeah. So. And it's been dead even ever since we've had Chan He score that goal for the Red Hawks. Just back and forth, no clear, like, you know, leader or anything. Yeah. So this is all up to Owen Babb if, if, if he wants to keep this game, uh, his team in the lead. Stevenson. He oh. scores! Tie game in the final five minutes of the first half. And what do you know, Mason? It's the scores we predicted. Yeah. <laughs> one to one. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. You know, they catch a break there. And, uh, I mean, Frontier, they, they got to get that goal back if you're rooting for Frontier. But yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, the best thing that they can do, even though it's hard to do, best thing they can do is just put it together quick and strike back fast before the end of the first half. Yeah, but uh, my guess is it'll be tied up going one to one. Yeah, I I think time. you're right, but I mean like that's the mindset you got to have, I guess. Palmer breaks through the line, tries to pass it forward, stopped by St. Martin, and he'll clear it out. Can't quite bring it down though. Larson almost takes it away. And now McClasowitz working it forward for the Raiders. Fasulo deflects the ball trying to take it away, can't quite do it. Free kick for the Red Hawks. Yeah, this is a big opportunity. Just try to get it down downfield. Yeah, and I mean, like, especially, you can't see the time on the scoreboard anymore. You just got to start, like, assuming that you, you got to hurry it up. Yeah, I mean, I, me and you, we can't tell how much time's gone past, but. Yeah. Frazier sends it into the box. Holt looking to grab it, and he will. Yeah, Holt's done a good job of that all game. Yeah, he has. One of the Raiders players goes down. And there you go, he's back up again. So <laughs> that was and Chan He just got a yellow card. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. So I didn't really see too much what happened. And I think that was St. Martin who went down. Yeah, so two yellow cards this game. Yeah, one for each team. And now we gotta see who Who do we have in for Frontier number seven, Aiden Valderrama. Oh, so Valderrama is coming in. Oh, and Gus Ratner is on already as well, so. There we go. I was a little confused for a moment, but Raiders have the ball on the far side. Dan Martin up against Fasulo. He pushes his way past him, and the ball goes out. It'll be a throw-in for the Raiders. I mean, I honestly, I have no idea how much time's left, but yeah, we it's under be, five minutes. We know that. <laughs> we we it's got to be getting close here, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely has to. And the throwing goes out of bounds. Goal kick's going to be taken by Owen Bat. And there you go. That's the end of the first half. Red Hawks had the lead for most of it after that long shot by Chan He, but then. The Raiders strike back with a penalty kick made by Brendan Stevenson in the last couple minutes. Yeah. So, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we have. I have no idea what's going to happen in the second half. Yeah, I mean, my prediction right here is, you know, whoever scores, it'll be either towards the end of the second half or towards the beginning. But um, whatever team scores is going to go heavily on the defense, you know. Yeah, and then. Uh, the other team's going to have to work very hard to get that second goal back. But yeah, um, if that doesn't end up happening, we'll go to overtime, maybe even double overtime. It depends on how yeah. the rest of this game goes, you know. So Yeah, it's, it's going to be close either way. Um, so that's the first half. Tie game at one, and I'm going to go get my hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith. Tom is a little busy getting hot chocolate right now, so I'm multitasking at the moment. Uh, I apologize for my awful camera work. It's not my forte. Palmer has the ball down the field. 
He's got some room to work with. Inside, shot on goal, and it's scooped up by Holt. Nice early opportunity for the Red Hawks. And score is still tied one to one. We're coming to the second half right now. 40 minutes left in regulation. And that'll be a throw in for the Red Hawks on the far side, taken by Aiden Valderrama. <laughs> Throw into the box, cleared out, almost, and now popped up. Looked like it was going out of bounds, but it'll stay in on the baseline. Valderrama putting some pressure on him, and now Larson with the ball. Larson sends it forward to Palmer. Roscoe Palmer, ball sent away from him, and now Chan Min fighting for it. He goes down, and a free kick for the Red Hawks is what it looks like it's going to be. Well, a big chance for Frontier early in the second half, just about two minutes in. It's going to be taken by Chan Hee Sun, who scored the only goal for the Red Hawks in the first half. Here's the kick, and it goes just over the crossbar. He was looking to make it, too. Raiders catch a bit of a break there. And now Holt's going to set up the goal kick. Send it down the field. Headed forward. Moynihan looking for it, but it's cleared out. Valderrama for the Red Hawks, and now Chan Hee on the far side. Pass forward meant for Palmer, but intercepted and sent the other way. Cleared out again by the Red Hawks. Eric Larson. Pass up, Nico Fasulo on the near side. Fasulo. Here he comes on the near side, working in the goal box. Here's the shot, and it's just high again. <sighs> Boy. Red Hawks definitely trying to strike back as quickly as possible. And now St. Martin will take the goal kick for Holt. Headed forward again. And Frazier's going to get there in time. Kind of clear it out. But the Raiders remain on offense. On the far corner now. Pass back. And right back to him. Centering pass. And Bab grabs it out of the air. Ball drops behind Fasulo, and now Palmer's there. Palmer passes it up and back to Fasulo. Or Palmer, excuse me. Whistle's blown. Raiders free kick. Ooh, I lost track of it for a second. There we go. You want right. it back? Okay, oh, Todd's yeah. back. Oh, hold on. Oh, we're all tangled yeah, up we here. Tangled up. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> well, that was definitely not one of my more graceful moments. It, um, was, a, it was a long, hot chocolate line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they also, like, people in front of me took my hot chocolates. So. Oh, <laughs> my God. They're like, I got one making for you. And <laughs> jeez. Raiders. And the ball is cleared out by Larson. Look at that kick. Chan He knocks the ball loose. I saw on my way, on walking my way back up, uh, that Frontier, they had an opportunity. Yeah, they did. Chan He tried to send it in his goal, and uh, it just went too high, and then uh, Fasulo had another opportunity. I think it was Fasulo. Uh, it might have been Palmer, but um, they also sent it just over the crossbar. Two close opportunities 
Oh, we did. We did get the hot chocolate. Wow, let's go. When you said that the people in front of you took it, I thought we just didn't get it. I was going to be really sad. Ball sent forward. And on the near side in the corner, cleared out by Garoppolo. Fasulo is going to be racing for it. Can't keep it in bounds. Yeah, it looks like South Hadley's here, so. Yeah, they got their game next, I think, after this. I'm confused who's going to have the ball right here. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize. Yeah. I, I've lost track of it several times. Moynihan, shot deflected. Yeah, that was that was great defense there. Yeah. Valderrama clears it way out, and Palmer can't quite get to it in time, and it's sent back. Raiders back on offense. Connors, far side. Valderrama, a little bit of pushing and shoving there. Centering pass met by Larson and cleared out. Malay doing his job, sending it back in. And Storm sends it out of bounds for the Red Hawks. Just gotta hope I don't spill it. If I kick it or something. Oh, your hot chocolate? Yeah, yeah. it's too hot to drink. Right yeah. <laughs> Martin throws it in. And it's headed right back out of bounds. Goal kick for Owen Babb. Yeah, one to one tied. I mean, it's. I, I just I have a feeling that it'll go into overtime, but that's just my opinion. No, yeah, I mean I wouldn't be surprised at all. This is almost more tense than the field hockey game because like we know both teams can score. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean we've seen it. It was just an uh, unfortunate that you know Hampshire was able to get that penalty. Whistles blown on McClasowitz. Free kick going to be taken by Jack Storm on the near side of the field for the Red Hawks. One one thing I know about Jack Storm is he's very quick. So. Yes, he is. He's almost scored a couple goals, actually, just because, I mean, he's a defender, but he's just worked his way down the field so quickly. Cross field pass by Martin to Connors. A little bit behind him. Moynihan, nice pass back to Connors. Connors sends it behind him. Connors again, Moynihan. They got a little triangle set up now. Back to Moynihan. <laughs> and now he sends it into the box. Looking for Martin. Shot deflected by Frazier and Babb scoops it up. Another great show of defense from the Red Hawks. Well, that's it was a very high kick there. Yeah, Babb. Babb pops it up. Free kick for the Red Hawks after a shove from Stevenson. Stevenson already has a yellow card tonight. Yeah, he's got to be got to be a little careful. I mean, so yeah. the same with Sean He. You know, both of them. Yellow. Both of them have scored goals in this game, and both of them have <laughs> yellow cards. That, yeah, that's kind of that's <laughs> ironic. <laughs> it's really interesting. Catchwango sends it forward. Palmer's there. Roscoe Palmer sends it towards the goal, and it's wide right. Yeah, if he had scored that, I wouldn't have been able to get that on camera. But <laughs> so almost glad he he didn't. But you know, yeah, <laughs> just because the turning this when it gets to the far right, it's almost impossible. Yeah, when anything else is just super loose. So. Martin to Stevenson. Stevenson pass back, and now Stevenson again near side, up against two Red Hawks, and Fasulo sends it out of bounds. Resson hands it off to Martin for the throw-in. We got 30 minutes or so left in regulation. Throw-in goes up to Stevenson. He's up against Fasulo, and Fasulo intercepts the pass. Ball finds its way to Larson, and now Palmer. Palmer, one-on-one. -on -one. He's just got St. Martin to beat, oh. and the shot's deflected, still in play. Martin will save it. Wow. That was great defense. He was able wow. to clear it and make it a throw and not a corner, I think. Yeah. That's just, that's crazy. St. Martin having a fantastic game today. 
Seen a lot of really big plays from him. And now Valderrama, I'm pretty sure, will take the throw in. Send it into Palmer. He can't quite bring it down. And now it's popped up and headed out of the box. Chan Min is there. Nice oh. footwork. Look at that. Pass out to Valderrama. Sends it into the box. Oh. And Holt's there. Yeah, that was just a smart move by Holt. Getting it downfield quick. Goes over Cachuango's head and Garoppolo can't clear it. Here's an opportunity for the Raiders, but oh. Frazier, what a play. McClasowitz is down on the field. Play continues. Valderrama trying to steal the ball away from Connors on the far side. And now Chanman will yeah. send it out of bounds. And they're going to have an injury timeout on the field for McClasowitz. They're going to take a quick break, and so we are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tom Albert. Uh, we're coming back from an injury timeout. Um, Aiden McClasowitz has been helped off the field, and he's walking around on the sidelines, so he seems to be more or less all right. But for now, Colin Cahill is out on the field for him. Bab punts it downfield, header by Stevenson. Moynihan up against Chan Min, and he'll pass it forward to Cahill back to Moynihan. Yeah, and wh what I'll say is that was really, uh, you know, nice sportsmanship. As Frontier, they were the ones that kicked it out of bounds, and then they're yeah. the Raiders just they threw it into uh, Owen Babb, so. Yeah. And now Frazier made a nice defensive play there, was going to let Bab take it, but got a little bit too close for comfort, and now throw in. Header towards the oh, goal, oh. over the crossbar. Oh, wow. my God. Yeah, Frontier just kind of lucking out there. <laughs> yeah. And now Cahill will come off as McClasowitz comes back on. So that's good to see for the Raiders. McClasowitz has had a great game so far tonight, making a lot of opportunities for his team. The game for Regional, and I mean, something that I'm thinking about, Tom, is Frontier is the only, Frontier has been able to score in like an actual like uh, playable uh, scenario. Like, you know, everyone's moving on the field and you set the ball up yourself and everything like that. Yeah. The only way that Hampshire's been able to score is on the penalty kick. Yeah. And that's the one thing that I think the Red Hawks really have going for them and is, uh, you know, a clear advantage over Hampshire right now. Everything else is just really back and forth. Hard to like, you know, put anyone on top of someone else. Fasulo sets the ball up for himself and going down the near side. Centering pass, looking for Palmer too far and Valderrama is going to come up with it on the opposite side of the field. He's in the corner, works out of it and it's shot out of bounds. Throw in taken by Valderrama. He hurries it up. Whistle blown. Oh no, it's a free. Or no. Okay. I think they're just having the, him to redo the throwing. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Neither am I. Ball cleared out. Connors now. Tronman racing forward, and Garoppolo heads it forward. Connors is there for the Raiders, and now Storm for the Red Hawks. Fasulo on the near sideline. Backtrack, fakes to the outside, and that is a free kick. Yeah, I mean it's definitely now more of a physical game, and I'm 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 actually glad that the refs, you know, they're definitely calling that, you know. Yeah, I think they might have been uh, anticipating this kind of physicality, which is why they didn't call as much in the first half. Yeah, I mean you kind of have to make up for it almost. No, definitely. Storm from the free kick sends it in. No one, pretty much no one was there. I think it went over the head of uh, Chan He at one point. Colin Holt will take the goal kick. Sends it out to midfield. Larson's there. Chan He brings it down. Pass forward. Palmer. He's got Fasulo behind him, and he'll pass it back to Fasulo. Fasulo 
Works to the inside, shot on goal. Holtz there. Yeah, that was definitely the well-executed play by Frontier to get Nico Fasulo in, you know, shooting range, so. Yeah. And Larson pushing it forward for the Hawks again. Pass to the outside. Valderrama works his way back in. Nice fake there. And he's still moving forward. Sends it towards the net, and it goes wide left. Yeah, I mean, right now, Frontiers, they want that goal back, you know. Yeah, they really do. I mean, we saw, um, and it, again, the whole momentum thing. They Frontiers started off with the momentum, and then it went back in the direction of the Raiders. And we saw that for a little bit. They almost scored a goal, and it went just over the crossbar. And now Frontier just back on offense, and they're putting a lot of pressure on Colin Holt in goal. Larson sends it forward. Palmer can't get to it in time. And Sean He fighting for it, too. Ball is sent to Martin on the near side. He sends it way downfield. Catchwongo. And now Chan Min will send it to the opposite side of the field. Valderrama trying to get it up to Chan He. And now it's just kind of neutral ball territory. No one really has clear possession. And Connor. Connor's ball taken by Valderrama. He works his way back. Nice move there. Oh, when the ball stays in, I thought that went out. Moynihan has it for the Raiders. Far side of the field, Valderrama racing back and forth. Ball is centered, and Frazier clears it out. Palmer with the ball now. Oh, I think it was a handball. Yeah, handball, it jumped up. That's just unfortunate for the Red Hawks. So now a free kick going to be taken by Aiden St. Martin, and we have 23 minutes left in regulation. We're still tied 1-1. One to one. Yeah, which if my prediction uh, holds, that's what, what it will be. And Bab! Oh, oh, my God! Yeah. I'm not... The, no, they, it didn't count. Thank goodness. Oh, my God. It hit the crossbar, though. Yep. Wow. I mean, Bab made a great initial save, and then he just wasn't in a position to do anything else. Red Hawks lucking out once again. Yeah, that was that. That could have been it. That I think yeah. that that is the the Western Mass Finals goal that you're looking for. So no, definitely. Ball sent down for the Red Hawks. Palmer fighting for it, and throw is going to be taken by Fasulo. He looks for Palmer down the field. There he is. Palmer trying to pass it, and Shawnee can't quite get there in time. McClasowitz crossed the field, and Valderrama racing in, not quite fast enough, and Storm will clear it out. Looking for Valderrama again. Shawnee finds his way to it. And now just oh. back and forth, Valderrama goes down hard, and a free kick. One thing I'm glad that, you know, you see a couple of Frontier students. I'm glad they came all the way out. Oh, yeah. Support their uh, team. And on a, on a school Oh, my God, look too. at this. Is that a red coat? Look at that guy down there. Oh, yeah, we got a red coat. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. That, that's a great costume right I there. I love that, man. I mean, we're filming this on Halloween. So. Yeah, we are. Valderrama knocks down Martin and... Kind of helps Martin up without <laughs> much of his consent. It seems he yeah, kind of just yeah. grabbed him and pulled him up. You definitely gotta <laughs> just lift the person. <laughs> I mean, you gotta ask. Oh, here I'm gonna pick you up there. <laughs> yeah. Martin pass forward. Zanoni far side now. He's in the corner. Backtracks and sends it into the middle. Cleared out. Palmer. Trying to oh. get to the ball. Almost breaks away. Owen Malay making a nice move on the far side. Up against Valderrama. He's in the corner. Centers the ball. <laughs> and Storm helps to clear it out with a header. Moynihan up against Fasulo. Fasulo tips the ball up. And it goes out of bounds. 
Paturic getting ready to sub in. Yeah, he's going way back. All the way back there. <laughs> Here's the throw in to Stevenson. Loose in nice. front of the net and Bab scoops it up. Hurls it down the field, wasting no time. Chan He is there. Yeah, this is what he's got Palmer in front of him, sends it downfield. Palmer against St. Martin. Palmer pushing a little, backtracks. A little bit of room to work with now, letting his team catch up to him. Centers tries to get it to Chan He, but it's deflected. Chan Min fighting for it now. Almost cleared out, but Valderon makes a nice move on Connors. Pass to the outside, looking for Fasulo, oh. and it's too far ahead of him. I mean, that's what Frontier <sighs> needs to do. Yeah. I mean, we're under 20 Enjoy minutes left to go, not about 19, and, number 19, you know, it's going to be this next goal that really, what I think is going to win the, uh, the, which team scores first will win the game. So, yeah, you know. I totally agree. It's really going to come down to that. And I mean, like, whether or not, it's in this last 20 minutes or so, or if it's in, you know, what whatever round of overtime we get ourselves to. Hopefully it won't be much overtime if yeah. it goes into that. I mean, it, it definitely is. Yeah, for our it, sakes, at least. I mean, it's a cold night, and two, there's another game after this as yeah, well. Yeah, that's so true. They're waiting to use the field. Yeah, I think it's a girls' soccer, Western Mass game, if yeah. I remember right. It's, it's South Hadley versus somebody else. So. Yeah. Fasulo on the near side up against Connors. He backtracks a little bit. And Connors takes the ball away. Storm sends it downfield. Paturic up against St. Martin. He heads it forward. Storm again. Sends it to the other side of the field. Zanoni helps clear it out. And Martin looking down the field. Uh -oh. Moynihan and uh -oh. too far ahead. I, I feel like... Uh, but one of the Raiders kind of pushed off Frontier there. Yeah, you know? I, I don't think. I think it was just McClasiewicz was trying to call, uh, draw a penalty there. But that's just my opinion. Petrarch putting some pressure on Holt as he clears it out. And now Cachuango pass up to Radner on the far side. Stevenson for the Raiders up against Larson. Gets the pass forward. Past Cachuango and Bab is there to scoop it up. Bab not wasting any time. Yeah, he wants it on the other end, end zone. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely, I mean, two teams that they only met once. It feels like once every year or so, you know, they yeah. meet. So, I mean, them for them to meet in the, the Western Mass Finals and – for a lot of physicality, I mean, I mean, it should be expected, but not to a certain extent. Yeah. The free kick sent across the field. Fasulo trying to get to it in time. He will. Can he keep it in bounds? Yes. Works to the corner. Baseline. Keeps it in wow. bounds and it's taken away from him. Some great footwork nonetheless, and Connors passes it back. Cleared out over his head and out of bounds. Red Hawks throwing. Storm sends it over to Fasulo, and he can't keep it in bounds. And I mean, the other thing I got to say is Frontier lost to Hampshire the last time they played them, 3-1. to one. And the fact that they're, you know, having some really dominant moments in this game, that, and they're still tied 1-1, one to one, just speaks to, like, how much they've grown as a team as well. Yeah. Because they, they also played Hampshire relatively early in the season, Connors kind of swarmed there on the near side. Chan Man can't quite intercept the ball, and it's sent downfield. Martin looking for it, and Radner's going to have to do something about it. Martin comes up with the ball, moves around Radner. Martin swarms nice. and cleared out by Chan Min. Stevenson's there, heads it forward to himself. Pass over to Connors. Connors back to Stevenson. He's on the near sideline, back to Connors. Stevenson again, he's moving forward, and Storm can't quite clear it out. Connor stops it, and Sean He oh, can't wow. get a handle on the ball, and it goes out, throwing for the Raiders. <sighs> Raiders taking their time, letting their team set up. Oh, my God, I almost knocked over my hot chocolate. Is that 
Dan Martin taking a big windup on the throw in again. And his head by Fasulo. Larson sends it out of bounds. And it goes into the stands. Dan Martin taking the throw in again. Another big windup to Stevenson. Heads it out. Moynihan now. Can't quite bring it down. It's cleared out. Paturic racing for it against St. Martin. St. Martin will pass it forward. And now Fasulo in the corner fighting for it. Can't quite keep the ball. And now Larson is up against Martin. Out of bounds. And that'll be a corner. Yeah, this is not what you want to see of your frontier right now. Yeah. A corner kick with about 14 minutes left to go, plus no. a little extra time. Aaron Barnes, please report to the press box. Aaron Barnes. All right. Here comes the corner kick. Brought down McClasowitz. Shot blocked, and Sean He clears it out. Ball sent forward, looking for Paturic. And Storm will send it way downfield. There you go. Paturic racing for it. Can't quite get to it in time. And they're going to pass it over to Holt. Holt sends it forward. And now Frontier switch into offense. Sean He. Here he is again, top of the goal box, sends it towards the goal, and Holt scoops it up. Holt with the punt down to midfield, over Chanman's head. And Garoppolo's clear is knocked off of the head of McClasowitz. Radner, short pass over to Chanman. Larson, far side, up to Chan He. Chan He, stop and go. Here he comes, tripped up a little, and Paturic sends it into the box. Fasulo can't quite bring the header down. And now Connors, near side of the field, up against Sean Min. Storm fighting for the ball against McClasowitz. He goes down, no whistle. Moynihan, pass up to McClasowitz, and he's gonna be up against Diego Frazier. Frazier blocks the centering pass. Throw-in going to be taken by the Raiders. Under 12 left on the clock. And now we're seeing Roscoe Palmer run onto the sideline. Getting ready to come in as a sub. Dan Martin takes the big throw-in. Center of the box, and it's headed out back to Martin. Chan Min blocks the shot. And Martin falling on top of the ball now. It'll go out. Palmer comes in for Paturic, and it'll be a Red Ox throwing. Quite a battle on the sideline there between Chan Min and Dan Martin. Game for yeah, that was excellent by uh, Chan Min to win that, you know. Yeah. Storm clears it out. And Palmer, who just came on the field, is going to be racing for it against St. Martin. Can't quite get to it, though. Stevenson brings it down. Pass back. Connors up against Vasulo. And now Chan Min can't quite get the slide tackle to work. Frazier going to have to clear it out of bounds. Nice catch on the sideline. Wish I could give that guy some credit. Jeez. Martin will take the throw in. And both teams seem to be taking their time more or less, Tom. I mean, like, I can kind of understand the strategy because, like, if you can score, that's just less time for your opponent to come back. Yeah, and I mean, it's really who get whoever gets this opportunity that that lets it fly. I mean, 
Yeah. You know, we, we're now we're under 10 minutes to go, plus a little extra time because, you know, injury time and whatnot. Of course. You know, and it's just going to depend who wants it more here. Yeah. Another corner for the Raiders. Here's the kick. And Bab punches it out. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, I mean, he's really kept his team alive here in the second half. I mean, oh, you, for sure. you could definitely say without a doubt that, it, I mean, more shots on goal and everything. It's been more Hampshire-sided here. Yeah, I agree with you. Red Hawks have had their opportunities, but uh, Hampshire's definitely had the momentum going for them for a lot of the second half. And here's Connors. Bab! Nice. Again with an amazing save. Keeping their hopes alive. I mean, Frontier, I mean, I feel like they need to play a little more offensively, but they also just yeah. need to take advantage of when they get in the midfield, you know. Holt sends it down to midfield. Some short passes. Moynihan now. Stevenson. Far side of the field. Up against Radner, and Radner will win that battle. John He, near side of the field, now it's Fasulo. Fasulo works to the middle of the field. He's got some room. Fasulo, far side now, stops, keeps going. Top of the goal box, somehow oh stays gosh. up, <laughs> stumbling around, and it's finally cleared out by the Raiders. Yeah, he, he, needed, he needed somebody to get open there. I yeah. Mean, just got to a point where you can't go through everybody there. No, absolutely. Resson with the throw in. And Connors passes back to him. Back to Connors. Stevenson. Moynihan. And now Chan He oh. fighting for it. Some big pushes and free kick. I'm actually really surprised that the ref almost didn't card him there. Yeah. <laughs> but Chani's on a on a short lead now. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> if he wasn't before. St. Martin will take the free kick again. Here it comes. Into the box. Looking at Stevenson, he heads it towards the goal, and Connors, Bab gets there in time. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, if you were to give, like, an MVP right now to, <laughs> to Frontier, it'd be Owen Bab oh, with yeah. all these saves. Without a doubt. Here's a nice pass forward. Roscoe Palmer near side up against St. Martin. He works inside, and Martin, again, just amazing defense. Storm heads it forward for the Red Hawks, stops a clear by Moynihan, and Sean He now with the ball. Pass forward to his little brother, and Fasulo, near side. Fasulo turns the corner, shot on goal! Hold another. I just. <laughs> I mean, Holt's also been doing a very good job, and other than that, when that first goal went in, you know, it's just Oh, absolutely. Been locked down D. Oh. Pass forward to Fasulo by Larson. Fasulo up against Stevenson. And he gets by Resson. Centering oh. shot. That's a corner. Yeah, I mean, that right there, it works out for him. Yeah. That's what you got. You got to just take those chances. You got to just try and send it in. I mean, Nico Fasulo has been doing a lot there. And I, I think Frontier, they're going to take a timeout here. Yeah. So try and come up with a plan for this corner. They haven't had that many, and they really need to take advantage of it right now when you have under six minutes left in regulation. So they're gonna take a, they're gonna take a quick break on the field, and we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tom Albert. We have 532 left on the scoreboard clock. Game is tied one-to-one, -one and the Red Hawks have a corner. 
John Hayes' son is going to take it. He scored the goal for the Red Hawks in the first half. Here's the kick into the box. And Holt scoops the kick. Oh, that was Fasulo, I think, who got the kick off. Hurled down the field to Connors by Holt. Tron Min shoots it up in the air. Fasulo can't bring it down. And Tron Min passes it up and finds Fasulo. Fasulo over to Chan He, and now Larson in the middle of the field. He's got plenty of room. Let's see where he'll go. Pass up to Chan He. Chan He, top of the box, shoots, and just wide right. I thought that was in. Oh my God. Yeah, I only would have caught the end of that. So. That, wow. But. Another listen. kind of long range shot from him. Yeah, I mean, we have under five minutes left to go now. So I'll try to keep track of the time. So Moynihan comes out and Cahill comes in for uh, Hampshire. Frazier clears it out to Fasulo. Fasulo stays up. Yeah, and like what me and Mason were saying off air, the other game, it's kind of getting late here. Yeah. Definitely really cold, so I wonder if they'll, like, change the date for the other one or they'll they'll play and it will just be a really late game yeah I feel a little bad for them that's why I almost feel like it should start a little earlier no totally ball sent downfield racing for it Cachuango some good defense and Bab clears it out oh. Connors is down on the field or no that's Dan Martin excuse me he gets back up, rubbing his head a little bit. He might have had a bit of a collision there. He'll stay on, though. And we're in the final five minutes now, so it ends when it ends, and we can't tell you any more than that. Throwing in good field position for the Raiders, and it goes out of bounds. Goal kick. Bab going to take it. And again, like we were saying before, just taking his time. Every second you take up is one last second that the other team has to try and score. McClasowitz. Connors pass up to McClasowitz, and it's cleared out. And I'll actually bounce over the net behind the field. Yeah, and I mean, that that was just Frontier catching a bit of a break there. Yeah. I can't tell if that was uh, an attempted kick by McClasowitz or if Cachuango was trying to clear it out. But either way, another corner for the Raiders. Here's the kick. Bab, what a save. Yeah, that'll be another corner, though. Frontier not happy with the call. No. Here's the kick again. Way downfield. Over Martin's head. It might go out of bounds. Valderrama helps to keep it in. And now Chan He backtracks. Pass forward to Larson. Larson back to Chan He. Can he keep the ball? No. Raiders back on defense. Offense, excuse me. And it's overshot over the crossbar. Goal kick for Bab. Yeah, and that ball now, that's def no doubtably Frontier's ball. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, Frontier kind of um, on their heels a little bit, it seems. So they got to, you know, put some together on offense at this point. Just put a good show together for the last couple minutes of the game. Maybe can get the ball into the back of the net. Yeah. And hopefully Frontier can figure something out in stopping their offense. But, you know, something like that right there, you, you can't really do. Yeah. Frazier kind of upset about that as John Min was brought down just a few moments before that. But St. Martin takes another free kick for the Raiders. Here it comes, into the box, looking for Stevenson. Cleared out by Frazier. 
Frontier really needs to try to get in the other side of the half, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Moynihan is going to come on the field. Or maybe there's a timeout. I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, I think a timeout. Like a timeout. Yeah, I'm not sure who uh, took the timeout, but either way, they're going to take a quick break on the field. And so we are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tom Albert. We're still in the last couple minutes or so of the uh, regulation, actually. Oh, and Bab with another amazing save, keeping the Red Hawks in the game. We're tied one to one, and the Raiders are giving it everything they caught. They've gotten these final minutes. Wow. And that's it. Wow. Well. At the end of 80 minutes of regulation, it's a tie game, one-to-one. -one. It's exactly what Tom has predicted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to be going to our first round of overtime. Overtime is going to be 10 minutes long. Uh, sudden death is how they play it. And yeah, my God, is this tense. Yeah, and honestly, the reason I have the camera on Owen Bab right now is because he's played – an outstanding game and goal. He's kept his team alive multiple times, and even yeah. with a chance right at the end of regulation, there. That's what he. I mean, that's what he's there for, you know, keeping his team alive. And yeah, and I mean, like, if there's one thing that the Red Hawks need to do, it's they need to capitalize in midfield so that they can create more opportunities on offense. Yeah, and finally give their goalie a little bit of a break. So. Yes, they're going to take a couple minutes to rest up for what's sure to be a really exciting and fast-paced uh, overtime. They're going to take a quick break on the field, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Mason Smith here at the Western Mass Finals. Frontier versus Hampshire. And it's been an all-around good game. I can't can't lie. I'm pretty proud of myself for predicting it going one-one into overtime. Yeah, so. as you should be. That ball is going to be out of bounds. Red Hawks throwing. So yeah, we're going into the first round of overtime right now. It's one-to-one. -one. Um, we haven't seen a goal. We didn't see a single goal all of the second half. And so now it's just whoever scores first is going to win. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's sudden death overtime, first to score. It, so it's, it's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, the stakes can't get much higher than this. Yeah, I mean, in Frontier, you know, they got a lot online. I mean, this is like Absolutely. Three, three for uh, three, you know. If, if we go to three finals and we win them all, that would be pretty spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> throw in for the Raiders and they're right back on offense right where they left off and this is what we were talking about right at the end of the second half um, of the game Frontier just needs to capitalize in midfield create uh, some opportunities to go on offense ball goes over Stevens's head towards the goal Connors oh that could have been it <laughs> all it takes is one now yeah so. he pulls it wide right and Frontier breathes a sigh of relief here on Halloween night, you know, I it's mean, just <laughs> <sighs> we are, we've only uh, played a minute and a half, and the Hampshire's are already almost scored. So yeah, Frontier really needs to get on offense. I mean, that's what happened in uh, the semifinals for the Red Hawks. They were playing against Belchertown. Fasulo scored like a minute and a half into the game, or into overtime, that is, and that that was it. But here we go again. Martin gonna take the deep throw in for the Raiders, looking to send it into the box, probably Stevenson, yep, there it is. Stevenson heads it up high, Oh! brought down in front of the goal, it's loose, and it's gonna be a corner kick. Yeah, it went through the uprights, so. Yeah. <laughs> Field goal is good, guys, you know. There's been a couple times um, where we've been covering a soccer game, and then it hits like one of the uprights, like the actual oh, pulls yeah. itself. Here's a corner kick for the Raiders. Sent into the box. 
Frazier heads it up. Martin fighting for it against Chan Hee, and Chan Hee will clear it out, but it'll be another throw in for the Raiders. Red Hawks really need to get out of this. Start making a shift in momentum and get on offense. Here's the throw in again, Stevenson. And Bab oh. bobbles it and grabs <laughs> it finally. And now he hucks it down the field. Too far ahead for Chan Hee. Yeah, and honestly, Frontier's been struggling a little bit of getting to the ball <laughs> Yeah, before Hampshire, so they need to figure something out quick. Yeah, part of it has to do with their passes, I think. And honestly, if this game like continues as it is, I, we you know we could, we could go to a penalty shootout. So we could. I'm pretty sure that's a possibility. Yeah, and that's that'll be definitely exciting because it's pretty much all on the goalkeepers. But <laughs> Palmer racing for it there, and St. Martin will head it over to his goalie, Colin Holt. St. Martin kind of skipping around a little bit, makes you wonder if he might be like cramping up or something's a little sore. Yeah, I mean, you definitely want to be careful in these uh, these games that are absolutely definitely in the colder weather now. And here's Palmer again, fighting for it, spinning around the defense, and it's cleared out. Moynihan up against Valderrama. He'll pass it back. Pickard clears it out to center field, and Fasulo will head it over to Cachuango. Ben Cachuango gets around Martin and sends it up to Palmer. Roscoe Palmer, now it's Chan Hee. Chan Hee can't keep the ball. Uh-oh. I think Chan Hee kind of landed on his leg a little bit wrong there, so. Yeah. And now Martin sends it down the field. Bab scoops it up. McClasowitz was looking for an opportunity there. Stevenson, pass up to Moynihan. Frontier has to rush back to defense. Moynihan on the far side. Frazier stops it, gets it by past Connors. And Connors has it now. Connors really fighting in the corner. And now Moynihan pass back out to Connors. Connors sends it into the middle. And the ball is trapped loose in front of the net. Oh. And it's brought down. And it's, oh my God, I can't. What is happening? The ball was yeah. loose in front of the goal for about 15 seconds. I honestly do not know how a handball was not called, but that's just me from the. That angle. was one of the, that was one of the most remarkable sequences of events in a soccer game I've ever seen. Yeah, you don't see that often. I mean, Owen Babb kind of went down to go grab the ball, and the other player was on top of it. It was just so. a completely open net, and I think it was Frazier who saved the goal, and now Babb oh, gonna no. have to grab it. Open net, oh. and the Raiders win. Wow. What a way to end it. And that's just devastating for Frontier, I mean. Wow. After coming so far in the season and holding out for the entirety of regulation against the only team you've lost to, and yeah. then to lose to them again in the Western Mass Finals. With 419 to go, I mean. Wow. Frontier's heartbroken, but they'll have a state tournament to go. And to be fair, hey, you know, you come away with a runner up trophy, which yeah. ain't too shabby, you know. But uh, yeah. Wow. I mean, that, that, that's what it came down to. We, uh, we both predicted the score outcome to be 2 1. Yeah. I that's said true. it was going to go to overtime, tied 1 1. And what do you know? Yeah. You know. <laughs> It all came down to really Hampshire just dominated there in the second half. Yeah. And, you know, that, that just carried into a little bit into overtime. And Frontier, they just – Absolutely. They needed to work a little bit more on, uh, I don't know, controlling the ball in midfield, and I think they would have done well. But Yeah, there was just – they didn't give Bab enough rest in the goal. And, you yeah. know, when you're under that much pressure for that long, you're bound to – you know, it's bound to happen where they just get the right angle on you. You come out too far, something happens, and they capitalize on it. And, you know, that's that's what happens for the Red Hawks. Yeah, and I'm I'm glad that uh, 
and athletic director for Hampton glad that Frontier. Please this game isn't going to go on much field. longer. You know, I, I kind of kind of glad it finished up, but just yeah. not the way we wa quite wanted it to. But no, um, of course, it's definitely getting pretty frigid out here. You know, oh, yeah. so <laughs> I'm shaking quite a bit. So <laughs> I mean, yeah. They're, they're going to do the, the ceremony here. So Yeah, so for the last time, score is 2-1. to one. Hampshire Raiders pull off the win against the Frontier Red Hawks in the Western Mass Class B Finals for boys soccer in overtime. What a game. Now winning goal is to a guy at number two. 